Yeah, and the last the last thing is um, when you sell a site to someone, uh, what's the best way for? Because I, I know I know you have a lot of sites. When you when I have a site finished and I want to you know, if I want to completely get rid of it and sell it to someone, uh, what is like a the work process that you go through? Like what is? I have no idea. You have no idea. Oh, I, I've never sold a site. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. The, the sites I build are all, you know, related to this business or they're, you know, for other clients. Okay. So for other clients then, you just use um project management systems like like Teambox to so meaning like the client would buy their own hosting. They would, you know, every they would pay for everything and then like how does that how do you work how does your process work? And then I just, you know, we work out a, a payment arrangement with me, and then I just, you know, I just do the work till we get done, and they pay me as we have agreed. You know, it seems like, didn't you ask me how I transfer a site? Yes, yes, like, yeah, exactly. So that's kind of like, that's what I mean by selling. Like, if I want to transfer a whole site to someone mm -hmm. um, so that they would now own it, Transferring the site easily just requires one tool, <laughs> okay. and it's Backup Buddy. Okay. I'm turning it on right here on my screen. Okay. Backup Buddy allows you to make a full copy of your site that includes all of the files and all of the uh, database. I mean, it makes okay. a perfect copy of the site. And then... You download that copy to your computer, and then you upload another file called Import Buddy. You upload that file to the server where you're migrating the site to, okay. and then you upload the file that you created with Backup Buddy to that the same location in that server, and mm -hmm. then you just run Import Buddy, and it unpacks it, it expands it, it writes the database, it changes all of the URL structure inside so that so that all the old addresses that were in the database are now changed to the new location. I mean really, you know, when it works perfectly, it only takes a few minutes. So, okay, so what I can, Okay, so what I can do is um let's say I have uh, uh Chung's website on uh HostGator 1. And then uh, I buy another hosting for one of my clients, and then I do the work, and then I just use um, Backup Buddy to upload, to uh, to download, and then upload all the files to the other to HostGator two. Mm -hmm. Then they, uh, my client, will now have everything, like all the files, etc. All the files, all the plugins, all the I mean everything, right? It's not just. Okay. It's not just part of it. It's the everything in the site gets copied and set up that way. Okay, and even I don't know if um, what about thesis is uh, their the policy about um because I have a developer's license, so that means uh, would that be would I be going against regulations if I? I don't think so. If I included um, thesis, I mean I'm not letting them download. It's just it's part of the website because that's what they like. I, I don't think so. I, you know I don't know the answer to that for sure, but. Okay. You know, it seems to me like you are able to build your own site with it, as many sites as you want with a developer's license. And okay. if you choose to sell a site after you've finished with it, I but I don't know that for sure. Okay, I'll ask. I'll definitely ask. Um, my other, uh, <laughs> you know what, Rick? Let me um, let me get other people to ask some questions because I do have uh, I think two more. But um, okay, so I'll, I'll let other people. Uh, um, ask questions and then I'll you can come back to me. Okay, great.